I'm Colleen Derrick with Swaggers Insurance. Welcome to Giving and Generosity, Module 2. This is 2.1. We're going to be talking about uh, investments gifted to family. And they're not all created equal. So, Module 2 to family. Have you ever heard a phrase, non-arm's length? Probably not. Did you know that basically what that means is that I'm giving something to a family member, somebody who's close to me, that I might have a tight interest with, as opposed to arm's length if I'm giving to some organization that I'm not affiliated with. I don't have a, have a tied interest per se. So if I give money to my husband and he invests it, did you know that the growth on that is actually taxed back to me? Hmm. So as we learned in module 1.1 1 .1, uh, and 1.2, we want to go back to our why. Why am I giving this money to my family member? And is it important that this gift is happening to somebody who is at not long arm's length? Because what are they going to be doing with it? What's the intent for them to do it? Did you know that I cannot give to my son and write a check directly to him? deposit into his TFSA, my adult child, I cannot do that. What I can do is I can give him the money with a gift receipt, and then he can put it into his TFSA. Hmm. Did you know that? It's interesting, isn't it? Same with my husband. I can't write a check and sign it for him to deposit into his TFSA. He actually has to write the check and sign it. Now it can be from a joint account where either one of us can sign on that account, but he has to be the one who signs the check. These are some interesting things that we need to just be aware of. Uh, so if we're giving a gift of cash or of an investment to somebody close to us to ask the question of what are we giving them? And, and are there perhaps some rules that we need to know about that apply here? Second question is, if I'm giving a loan, then they need to pay interest on, to me. Again, if I'm loaning people, is there interest? If there's not interest, then again, we have some tax implications. You need to talk to an accountant. And again, you don't need to know all the details of it. What you do need to know is that you need a professional involved. Talk to your accountant, ask the questions, talk to an advisor, ask some questions. Help them, have them help you structure these things. And so I would refer you to FP Canada to find a, a person with a CFP designation. That means a certified financial planner. This means they've been educated and informed. Uh, if you have a faith-based uh, view of your finances, then I would refer you to the CKA or Certified Kingdom Advisor for somebody that's been educated and experienced in biblical principles to do with finance. And you can go to the Kingdom Advisor site in Canada for Canadians or the US for Americans. And you can go to the Kingdom Advisor Canada site and they can help you find an advisor. Or you can always connect with either Lillian or Amy or myself for financial advice, or we have Brent for legal advice. And don't worry, we're working on getting an accountant in the collaborative group for you as well. These are just people that we know are ethical, share morals and values, and have the technical expertise to not steer you in the wrong direction. When they say, I don't know, they mean they don't know, but they'll find out for you. When they give you an answer, it's probably an educated one. The other thing we want to consider when we're giving to a family is whether you want to transfer something intact. So do you want to give them actual land? Do you want to give that family member an actual investment? Do you want to give them direct mineral rights or shares? Would you like to give them directly a collectible? Because all of those things, we are allowed to give gifts for free in Canada. The question is, what are they doing with them after you give it to them? So sometimes it is better to, if they're just going to dispose of it, you can give that gift to them and they can cash it out. Or sometimes we just want to liquidate that ourselves and cash it out ourselves and just give them the dang cash. When we liquidate an asset, there is going to be a disposition and there is a tax impact. So again, uh, please remember that gifts in Canada are tax free, but liquidating an asset, so getting rid of something that has value or gain, talk to a professional, see if that affects 
you.